I thank God for bigness. Some people say, I thank God for smallness. What we ought to say is thank God for saints. Because if we're saints, living according to what God wants, He will bring growth. Hallelujah. And if we are not saints, we have a form of godliness that denies the power thereof, and we become a reproach and a laughing stock to the world. I'm going to ask you to stand. Every person here that God has chosen, you have the potential of a gift. You better find that gift. I don't mean just getting busy, but I mean adding what God has given you to the body of Christ. And every Christian ought to be joined together to a group of people that God has established to bring praise and honor and glory to His name. And if we refuse to let the Holy Spirit bring out of our life that which glorifies God, then we grieve the Holy Ghost. Every single Christian here is meant to be an encourager, and you're going to find that God's going to shut doors. And God's going to make you close a few on people that are gossips. Somebody was relating a situation to me where they said so-and-so was just saying everything is wrong, this, that, and something else. Somebody said it's a lie. Listen, you're going to have to start to stand up for the truth. When you got a friend who's backslid and hurt... It's not your place to side in with that person when they are feeling down in their spirit, blaming the church or blaming God. You better tell them that's the devil that wants to pull you down, but God has always been good to you, and you better start praising the Lord. That's where your victory is. We got too many Christians that understand humanity, and they don't understand the spirit. And we got too many Christians who would rather be human than be spiritually minded. We love our humanity, don't we? We just love our warm fuzzies and all the things about ourselves. But listen, God didn't call you to major in warm fuzzies that are carnal. He called you to put on the whole armor of God and stand against the wiles of the devil and pull his kingdom down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I've only brought to you the beginning of a message. But God's got something to say to this church. I was talking to Bob Sumberg last night. I said, we got to get back to find out what God is saying and quit simply following the routine and the pattern that we Christians follow. We have to find out the pattern according to what's in heaven and find out what God wants to be said for us, our church, our city, our time in history. Speak, Lord. Let us know your mind. Let us know your will. Let us grow. Let's bring glory to your name. I'm going to ask you all to come and stand at the front of the church in closing of this service. Hallelujah. You got a right for more than just putting your time in in the kingdom of God. You have a right to expect God to manifest His glory. I don't know about you, but I don't want to waste my time. Some people, they can go to a church that's just as dead as dead could be. They can pay their tithes there for 200 years. Say, well, that's the way it is, brother. I want to see the devil defeated. I want to see his kingdom pulled down. What about you? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
And one of the most foolish carnal ways is the way that some people choose a church to attend. My aunt goes there. What has that got to do with it? It's seven miles closer to my house. Didn't God give you your car? Can it go seven miles further? You know, why? Why? Why do we choose a church? Listen, I'll tell you, when the Holy Ghost moves, the church chooses you. It chooses you. It says, welcome when you walk in. It says, you're home. It says, amen. You feel the power of God. You say, God's put me here. Hallelujah. I think we might just be on the edge of something big. I think God is just about ready to get our attention. Hallelujah. 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 If the only reason you come to church is to find a girl or a guy, if the only reason you come to church is because somebody else goes there, if the only reason you come to church is for carnal reasons, then don't come. Don't come. There's all kinds of churches. Don't come. But listen, if something stirs your spirit, come back. If something stirs in your spirit, come back. If something stirs in your spirit, come back and pray for this preacher that he'll turn you upside down in the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God! Hallelujah! 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 If God gave you something real, get in the middle of a people who got the same thing. And if we don't pay the price and leave here, I mean that. I mean that. I mean that. I pray to God that I will be obedient to Him. I pray to God that I'll preach on the anointing of the Holy Ghost. But if I don't, get out of here. Get out of here as quick as you can. Don't waste your time. Believe God to give the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to close in prayer. There's a basket in the front for your pastor. The first thing I want you to do more than if you ever do anything else is pray for me. Pray for me. I realize the awesomeness of God's power that can be poured out in a man that has the anointing of the Holy Ghost on him. If you ever want to invest yourself in the kingdom, pray for a preacher. I mean, pray for that preacher. Believe me, pray for that preacher. You don't know what I'm capable of God because I've never been there yet. But some people can make a big difference in me getting there. Listen, you don't know what God can do through me. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know when we break through on the other side what could happen. You don't know. You don't know. God could cause this church to go across this world with power and a message that will destroy the work of the devil. You don't know. Listen, you pray for this man. You pray for this man that he'll hear the word of God and live. double portion of his spirit. Hallelujah! You pray that the anointing will break the yoke. You pray that my heart will be hot for God. You pray you can't do anything better than that. Listen, he can pull down the strongholds of the devil. Hallelujah! We're going to have a victory. I just believe it. We're going to close in prayer.